Well, we love games. We also love pop culture. This next game is super fun. It's also challenging. Corey Coe from the KFAM Power Trip is here. Special CCO, welcome. Welcome, Corey. Great to see you. Guys. How are you? And Corey's the inventor of the initials games played on KFAN on Friday mornings. We love this game. How in the world did you ever dream this up? Oh, I got lucky about uh, nine years ago, and it just seemed to work out. So uh, it was a goodbye gift for A.J. Monsoor, who quit our job, I think, for three days, and then he was back. <laughs> so it was basically for him. Smart and now we're here. AJ. Yeah. Love it. And, you, and then you made a, a home version of the game, which you're about to release, what, a couple more versions? I'm so glad you brought that up organically. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, versions four and five are available for uh, presale at initialsgame.com, and they should be ready in like three weeks. So you can you know, go get them now. I, I, Corey, I have to tell you, when I first... Oh, when I first heard about this game and saw the game, Rosie explained it to me as initials, you know, like SS, Steven Spielberg. It's so much more than that, though. It, it's not just initials of proper names, right? right? Don't ever listen to Mark Rosen. That's, oh, that's lesson right. number one. Yeah. And then lesson number two is, yeah, it can be people, places, things, phrases. It can be anything. So they're like little riddles. You got to put the puzzle together. It's pretty simple. That's what I love about it. Yeah. How long have you been at the K-Fan now? 21 years. Awesome. Wow. Proud of you, man. Dress like you're 12 and you look younger, but I'm technically 43. <laughs> okay. and, and where can people catch initials uh, on your radio? So we play it every Friday at 8.15 on the morning show on uh, 100.3. Can you do a quick... Uh, explanation what we're going to do, rules for people at home. and Yeah, so basically here. how this works is, again, I'm going to give them a set of initials in a second. It can be people, places, things, phrases. Each item has six clues, so I'll start reading the clues. They kind of get progressively more specific. You yell out your name when you think you know who or what I'm describing. If you get it right, you get the point. If you get it wrong, then you're out. So the strategy is when to ring in and not ring in too early. you got to make sure you get it right. We're playing best out of nine because we're going to keep this thing rolling, but best okay. out of nine is the winner. One All last right. question. Did you bring the little dude that says clue number one? Uh, no. <laughs> He's not here? <laughs> no. I was looking for him. We could probably get a volunteer or two. Probably. <laughs> Have Rosie do it. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Right, we're yeah, ready. Okay. yeah, we're ready. All right. Uh, Frank and Amelia, you guys are playing this on our show in the next couple we of are. weeks. Yeah. I'll so be this is a good eight. practice round. You ready? Yeah. All right. The initials for the uh, Channel 4 game is uh, BP. BP. B. P. Everybody ready? All right. Clue one, debuted in a sense in 2018. Amelia. Jeez, go for it. Uh, Black Panther? Wow! Whoa! Whoa. Shut up, Black Panther! <laughs> wow! Wow, Amelia! Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. You did fellas you are in trouble. Did you ahead of time? I did not look at the uh, No, she did not. <laughs> All right. Although that would have been smart. We should have rigged this. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're up one nothing. Here's the number two of BP. Clue one, seen in 2020's Doolittle. Clue two, seen in 2002's Die Another Day. Clue three, seen in 2014's Paddington. Clue four, seen on the Netflix series The Crown. Clue five, is sometimes a sight for mourning. Final clue, has over 700 rooms. And has the largest Amelia. Frank. Amelia was first. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace oh, is right, and Amelia nice. continues wow. to dominate. It's only two. You guys are competitive. You guys know each other? Mm -hmm. uh, Amelia has a two point lead. Here's number three of BP. Number one was Cliff Booth. Clue two was David Mills. Clue three was Rusty Ryan. Frank. Yep. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt oh, is the correct answer. How did I miss that? Well done. Uh, Brad Pitt, very good. Amelia has two, Frank has one. Derek, we're great at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you're good at this game, though, normally. I play with you on the radio right. every Friday morning. I got like two of them this morning with HM. You but. seem yeah. smart. I knew I liked you. <laughs> uh, number four of BP, clue one, connected to legendary soccer star Pele. Clue two, this has been stolen in the past. Clue three, this was originally known as the Wicked Wench. Mm. Clue four, has appeared in a film franchise with Johnny Depp. Clue five, this was connected Amelia. to a, Amelia. Black Pearl? Black Pearl. Wow. Amelia's killing the fellas. Wow. Black Pearl. Very good. Wow. She has three. She's almost locking this thing up. Uh, she has three. Frank has one. Number five of BP. Clue one. Connected to Bilbo Baggins in The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. My precious. Sorry, I had that inside of me. <laughs> Clue two. <laughs> this was famously forgotten in a 1984 John Hughes film. Clue... Oh, Chris. 
Chris. Birthday party. Birthday party yeah. is correct. He's on the board. Yeah. 16 one, candles. Good one, Chris. I love that movie. I'm All right. in my wheelhouse. Amelia's in the lead. She I'll has three. Scuffed. Chris and Frank each have one. Derek get the score, but he listens to the show, so I like him a lot. <laughs> Here's number six of BP. Uh, clue number one has connections to Dartmouth and Bucknell. Clue two. This has appeared multiple times on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Clue three. Commonly features a triangle formation. Clue four. This includes bouncing. Clue five. Often seen at sporting events, garages, or basements. Chris. Chris. Bong party. No. <laughs> oh. Where did you go to college? That's where everybody wants to go. Yeah. Bong parties for Chris Schaefer. Oh, man. All right, so Chris is out, out for the rest right? of this okay. one. Number six, final clue. This is a classic drinking game. Amelia. Oh, Frank. Amelia was oh. first. Beer pong. Beer pong. You... <laughs> Which you play at my bong party. You do play that at your bong party. <laughs> Do we want to check okay. the tape on that? Or do you want to check the tape? Do you think Ladies Amelia first, no. All right. I'm I Team was, Amelia. I was. Of course you are. Fantastic. Every guy that was awesome. So wait, it's already over. Uh, is it? Well, technically, Chris and Frank could run the table okay. and tie, but okay. let's just say it's over. But we can keep going. You guys tell yeah, me yeah, when to stop. Uh, so this is officially for the win, Amelia. Here we go. Clue number one. Again, the initials are BP. Sometimes features art or holograms. Clue two. Connected to Guitar Hero. Clue three, this is connected to performances. Clue four, this appeared in 1992's Wayne's World. Clue five, often end up as memorabilia. Clue six, it's a credential that gives access. Amelia, yeah. Amelia was first no! again. Backstage pass. Backstage pass. Wait and a minute. Amelia Isn't that three initials? BSP? To dominate. Well, backstage is one more. I just want you to lose. Okay. <laughs> you know, since, since Amelia's already locked up the win, and there's a handful we of these left, like. you know what we could do that would be fun? Don't yell out the answers if you're in the crowd. But if, you, if you're in the crowd, as soon as you know it, just raise your hand Ooh. so they can see that everybody like that. knows it except for them. <laughs> Thanks. That's Garrett, this is great for her. So just raise your hand when you know it before the crew of uh, Channel 4. All right, BP. Amelia dominated. She has five. Chris and Frank have one. Uh, clue one, most commonly connected to summer. Clue two, this is popular in the United States and Canada. Chris. Go for Long it. Long party. <laughs> <laughs> Canadians love it. I think you love it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Chris is out for the rest of this one. Clue three. This is considered relatively easy to make. We got, we got a lady back there? Yep. Handful. Oh, yep. Clue four, it's circular. Oh, she got it. She, she said, said blueberry it. pie. Oh, she got it. Oh, sure. oh nicely right. done. The, then the crowd wow. is technically beating their They <laughs> are. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Not bad. All right. <laughs> is this the last? Uh, sure. You want to no, do one no, more? No, no, A couple we more? Do we got one more. All right. More you have left. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, BP, final, uh, final one. Here's clue one. Was prominent uh, in a part of a 2006 video game that sold over 80 million copies. Clue two. These could be seen in 1985's Teen Wolf briefly. Clue three. These are almost always red and white. Ah, Frank. Yep. Big parsnips. What? <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> no. Best part of Teen Wolf. No. 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 That'd be right some video line? game, too. I'm very confused. Wow. Uh, so Frank's out for the rest of this one. Clue four. This was frequently seen in a 1996 Farrelly Brothers comedy. Clue five. They are targets. Final clue. Oh. Jeff... Walter and Donnie and Jesus all knocked these down in 19... Frank. Redemption? Sure. Thank you. Bowling pin. No, yeah, bowling pin <laughs> from the Big Lebowski. Bowling yeah. pin is the right answer. Oh, there you go. We're throwing out the rules because Amelia dominated. Yeah. So, yes, Frank, you technically get that one. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh. Oh, oh, what do you have there? The committee, the initials committee, uh, wanted to give you a gift because you need a lot of help, Mr. Beer Pong. <laughs> uh, initials game... 
volume two. So you do your homework oh, all right. while you're studying your meteorology and but maybe gee, come back with a little where, bit. Where can people at home get something like this? I'm just wondering. <laughs> a fantastic time. question. That's initialsgame.com, Chris Schaefer. There, Thank you. There initialsgame.com. It's a lot of fun. It is Ladies fun. and gentlemen, really Corey Cope. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> oh, there's more? We, oh, can we get oh. Rosie in the mix? Okay. Yeah. He's in. Okay, He's in. Rosie. All right, Rosie's let's go. Let's see Rosie. if I can get one. Then I can qualify for next year's tournament. People love when Mark Rosen yeah. plays initials. They really do. So, by the way, so again, Frank, you're playing what on our show September 22nd. 22nd, and Amelia, I think the you're eighth. September 8th, right? So you're both a part of our tournament. So yeah. you still got a little bit of time yeah, to uh, boy, do to I need jump to in. practice, my friend? Oh, <laughs> Amelia <laughs> doesn't. No, she's the. No, she, you're ready to go. I want to do it on two or three. Right. And Rosie, Big Shot, Derek, and I aren't invited. Yeah, Big Shot. Maybe next year. We'll play a home game together. Okay. All right, All just right. for fun. Rosie, come on, do this. Well, come let's on, go. Redeem I had, yourself, buddy. I had Here we go. Pins, you know, come on. Do it for Karin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, here, here we go. BP, uh, number one. A 1998 miniseries about Chef Gordon Ramsay was called this. Clue two. This show is connected to a then unknown 19 year old Lady Gaga. Wow. Clue three. This was a 1993 film with Wesley Snipes and Dennis Hopper. Oh my God. Um, which apparently none of you saw. No, clearly. <laughs> clearly. Clue four. This was a hidden camera show on MTV. Clue, and we're still BP? Yeah. Oh, okay. Clue five. This deals with vapor pressure. Rosie. Rosie. Bo bo boiling point. Boiling point! Oh, oh man, we let Rosie get one. Now? Thanks for playing along, kids. I'm going to leave now. He still got it. Jeez. He still, still got it. it. He okay. still has it. All right. Try this one there, Rosie. Okay. Ready? <laughs> uh, clue one. Debuted in 1994. Clue two. Directly connected to the Isley Brothers between the sheets. Clue three. Will Ferrell performed this as Robert Goulet on Saturday Night Live. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Clue four. <laughs> this is a nickname of a person who died in 1997. Derek, Big Bopper. No. Big that Bopper? Big Bopper. <laughs> That's P. That was like 1959. Big yeah. Bopper would be BB. The big, the big Bopper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get one. Derek needs some practice. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right, Derek. Uh, no. Uh, number five. It was nominated for a Grammy but lost to Gangster's Paradise by Coolio. What? Last but not least, and if you guys don't get this, the crowd is going to yell it out. Number six, off the album Ready to Die, this was oh, a hit. Oh, Frank? Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, Biggie uh, person. Biggie this, person. Notorious big guy. Big, big, uh, big oh, Papa. Yeah, big Papa. Papa. There you go. Yeah, that was the all right, all right. Frank had you have I had on the right I couldn't think of his nickname. Very close. Right, I knew the right. album. Let's do another. Yeah, all right, last one. we got to get Derek oh, one. one. One more. Oh, that one kind of well, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of so, even though I was already lost. Not that really. This was yeah. All right, let's see who can do, who can do this one. All right, clue one, BP. Seen by a ghost in 1995. Clue two, seen by a crocodile in 1999. Clue three, hosted Saturday Night Live in the 90s. Clue four, he appeared in outer space in a 1987 film. Clue five, he was President Thomas J. Whitmore in a 1996 box office smash. Some of the crowd knows it. Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, last but not least, was in Ruthless People, Sleepless in Seattle, Newsies, The Grudge, and Spaceballs. Crowd, yell it out. Yell it out. Like two people yelled it. Bill Coleman is the right answer. Oh. Tough one. Wow. That, that guy got one. it. That guy wins. All right. That guy with the sunglasses. Comment. Nicely done. All right. All right. Can, can All you, right. Do you have any more cards left? Can you do one more? That's it. Yeah, that one's it. Oh. All right. Oh, fantastic. Out. Amelia, Wait. very Hi. impressive. Now you got to do it when it counts. I, what? No, yeah, I know. That's the pressure yeah. is on. Right. I was after I was like a five point. Okay. Rosie, real quick. Uh, it's great to see you. What's new? How are things going? Things are going great. I'm getting married a week from today. Thank you. Thanks for asking. I'm a lucky man. Yeah, thanks for asking. I'm very emotional, very happy about it. So you guys. Well, we're excited, too. Yeah, thanks. All right. We'll be uh, thanks there. for coming by. Ladies and gentlemen, yep. uh, 
Power Trip Morning Show. Corey, when can people catch it? Weekdays? Weekdays, 5.30 to 9 on KFN. And then, again, we play initials every Friday at 8.15. Appreciate thanks. you coming by. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Corey. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. 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 Thank you.